when I talk to you, then my voice in the form of sound is reaching you. What's happening in detail? I am using my energy, creating certain vibrations. Second thing, those vibrations travel up to your ears and you are able to hear that. So here we will discuss that vibration created at one point having energy of vibration. That energy and that disturbance, that vibration travel. This traveling part we are going to discuss. There is a pattern made by this disturbance. Now, this pattern can be made in the medium between us two. Even if there is no medium, we are sending vibrations to you. But those vibrations are not sound vibrations. These vibrations are a different type of vibration which uh, are received by our mobile phones, which are not sound vibrations. So, the pattern made by the vibration and which can travel the pattern by which the energy in vibrations travel from one place to other place, that design, that pattern is known as wave. This is what we call wave. So first thing, there are vibrations. These vibrations carry energy and they travel. During this travel, they create a pattern. And this pattern is known as wave. So, from source, vibrations are created, energy, it travels, reaches destination and this pattern is known as wave. What is meant by this pattern? Okay, I tell you uh, the meaning of the pattern. Suppose I have a this string here. Okay, it is stationary now. Here I do some disturbance like this. I am creating disturbance here but you find the disturbance is reaching this point, this way. Why it create, why it reaches this point? There may be a different reason, but the pattern it is making, this one, this pattern it is making is wave. Okay. Now, what happens in a wave? how transmission takes place for a vibration. The reason is, see here, if I am lifting this small part of a one particle here, there is one particle and I am lifting it up. What is happening to the neighboring particle? You see it was here, I lift it up. The neighboring particle also goes up. What is the need of neighboring particle to go up? I am lifting only this particle. The answer is because there is an intermolecular force between all of them. And when we disturb, when we displace one particle, due to that force, it also disturbs the other particle. Okay. That is one reason that disturbance is given to the next particle. Now when the next particle is getting disturbed, it gives disturbance to the next particle. So that is one reason. Now this particle is vibrating. Why it is vibrating? Vibrations and oscillations we have studied. What is required for an oscillation? What we need for an oscillation are two things. Number one, when I disturb it, I need a force 
to bring it back here. This we call restoring force. This restoring force has many names. Basically, it is intermolecular force. Because when this goes up, what happens to all the other molecules? When it is here, the other molecules are lined up like this. You have just seen in the string. And these are the other molecules. Okay. Due to force of gravity or due to intermolecular force, not gravity, intermolecular force, all these want that it should come back because there has been an extension. So, force, restoring force against extension, increasing the size is known as elastic force. So, there is always an elastic force which try to bring it back. So, what we need? Elastic force to bring back. Okay. When it is here, it has gained certain velocity and because of inertia of velocity, it goes on this side. And when it goes on this side, like this, all the molecules are here, then they receive a elastic force by the other molecules in upward direction. And this is a case of oscillation. Because of its mass, because of its inertia, it is overshooting the mean position and because of elasticity it keeps on traveling, it keeps on oscillating. So what do we need for continued oscillation? We need elastic force and we need inertia. Now if these two qualities are there then what will happen? See, this particular particle which we have disturbed and raise it to this point. When it is here, we see the other molecules are here. Now, all these molecules have been picked up due to elastic force of this molecule and it is in a condition of going up, going up, going up, going up. The energy given to this molecule ceased, has finished, consumed by the time it reaches here. But it has also given energy to this. Energy of this particle has not finished. Energy of this particle has not finished. This energy has finished. Now the restoring force which is acting downward calls it back. So the next instant it is coming down and it is here. This is still going up and it is here. And now we get it like this, molecules here. Just at the next instant what happens? Now this has reached to the maximum height, its energy is over. It stops. The elastic force pull it back. This is also going back and this follows the suit, it also goes back. But this one which was going up is still going up. So the next step what do we see? We see that this has come down, this has come down and now it has gone up, this one. In the next step, its energy is finished, it also comes down, it also comes down and we get it here, then here, this has also come down and now this is at the top. So here was the disturbance at the very initial point after one instant here is the most peak disturbance after that here is the peak disturbance after one instant here is the peak instant and then after some time what do we find that this is still has come down and we find it here all the molecules are here now where is the disturbance here is the disturbance. So this disturbance, what was here, has reached this location. See this. So it is just sliding this top portion. This is here, like this, like this, 
and you see this we will call it the point of maximum displacement we give it the name crest so this crest we find it is here then here then here then here then here the crest is moving and after a few instants what we find that all the molecules have taken this shape yes these are the molecules which are in this shape and it does not stop here just after one second we will find that it has taken another place and now the molecules are here this is number 1 this is number 2 and after that we find it is here this is number 3 so see here it was then it was here then it was here and it is like that it moves up and this is what I have shown you here yes. if I bind it here and do it nicely you will find that yes the peak goes to one direction this is the wave or the wavelet this is the pattern so in this way we see there is a disturbance created in the medium and it has got a particular design at any at any one instant if we take the photograph the photograph will come like this this is the photograph we get at any one instant yes. so this is the pattern with which disturbance is taking place this is wave now if i say the particles are oscillating that means it need particles but in our nature we have found that these vibrations sometimes need particles sometimes do not need particle when the vibration is in a particle then it need a medium with the particles so that it can travel and we will call it material wave or we can say the medium is material medium so material wave the other type of waves which are coming to our mobile radio that does not need any medium what is vibrating in that is there no material which is vibrating yes in that what we see what you will study in the next classes it is electric field which is vibrating and electric field is not made of material okay what it is that we will study later but it does not need any material so we note it down we call it electromagnetic wave because this is magnetic effect and electric effect which keeps on vibrating and those do not need material What are these electromagnetic waves? These are two main type of waves in our nature. But the signs keep on progressing and we keep on finding new type of vibrations. After this there was certain researches and new theories were found and it was found that there is a third type of wave that is whenever an electron moves the smallest matter or whenever any matter moves it is enveloped in a sort of energy it is enveloped in a wave and anywhere in that wave it is contained and it is that wave which decide where this particle will move so that wave is a different wave than this material wave of vibrations 
this electromagnetic wave of electric field and that is always carried by a moving material. So, we call it matter wave. This concept of matter wave is modern physics and this you will study in class 12th just a concept of it touching it that when an electron moves it is always enveloped by a mixture of waves which are known as matter waves and as soon as it stops the matter waves also stop okay that is a different thing now very recently we have also found gravitational waves these are created by as appear by the name by vibration of the mass these are created these by electric charge when electric charge is moved when a magnet is moved electromagnetic waves are created when air particles are moved or a particle of any medium whether it is plastic whether it is metal and all these particles are moved material is moved we get material wave electric charge is moved but what travels is not electric charge what travels is a electric field only which contain no material that is electromagnetic waves when an electron moves it enveloped by a matter wave and when a mass vibrate it create gravitational waves so these are the categorization out of which in this class we will study only material medium and material waves all these we will study in the later classes in the advanced stage so this is introduction of the what is meaning of the wave once again what is carried by wave energy is carried by wave in which form this energy is carried energy is carried in the form of vibrations and the vibration there are different categorization like this so we will study now what are the pattern made by these vibrations in the next lecture thank you